Hi, I am Dr. Abhijit Joshi. I am a Chief Interventional Cardiologist at Manipal Hospital, Baner. I want to discuss a very interesting case which we came across recently. Uh, this is a 31 year old lady and she suffered a rheumatic heart disease in the childhood. For what? For that she underwent a wall replacement surgery uh, 2015 in one of the reputed hospitals in Bangalore. After surgery, the surgeon found that the heart rate of the patient was low, so one pacemaker was also implanted. She was doing uh, pretty well for next five or six years. Two, two and a half months back, she visited to me uh, where her heart rate was very low. On examination, we found that her pacemaker was totally exhausted and her heart rate was, which, is, which should normally be 70 to 80, has gone to 30 or 35. We immediately advised the patient to get hospitalized and uh, replace the pacemaker because the pacemaker on interrogation was not functioning at all, the battery was depleted. But they didn't listen to us and then there are so many financial reasons and all. The patient came, me, came to me again after one month of the previous episode. This time she landed up in the emergency department with the heart rate of 25 or 30 with frequent blackouts and uh, she was in a bad shape. We immediately admitted her and then the very next day we performed a replacement of the pacemaker surgery uh, and the heart rate was brought to uh, 70 to 80 beats per minute. Initially we thought Ki, we have done our job by changing the pacemaker but here comes the true story. The patient did not settle, patient continued to have breathlessness, she even could not lie down in the bed, uh, she required oxygenation and that is the time we again uh, saw the echocardiogram where we found that the valve which was implanted was about to close. It was not, the leaflets were not opening at all and the pressures in the lungs were very high. The pressures in the lungs should normally be between 15 to 20 which has gone to 80-85 mm of mercury. So that all talks about the seriousness of the uh, disease. This patient uh, was nutritionally was not very good. Patient had uh, very high pulmonary pressures. The uh, previous surgery was already done. Recently, patient had gone undergone a replacement of the uh, pacemaker. This was a very very high risk patient for any of the setups in uh, established setups for cardiovascular surgery. So we uh, uh, gave reference to our cardiac team, cardiac uh, surgery team, and cardiac anesthesiologist, where they uh, quickly. Uh, understood the risk of the patient and they did the fantastic job uh, on the very same night. The surgery lasted for almost 6 to 8 hours and uh, with, the, with the grace of all the team members, anesthesiologist and grace of God also, the patient is now doing well. Hello, I am Dr. Sridhar Radhani, consultant and head of the department of cardiothoracic and vascular surgery, Manipal Hospital's Pandit Puri. I would like to share with you our uh, uh, experience with our uh, first case which was a very challenging case for all of us. I received a call uh, from our uh, Chief Interventional Cardiologist Dr. Abhijit Zoshi sir uh, regarding a 31 year old female for whom we had uh, done a pacemaker few days back which was a redo pacemaker which she had. So, uh, I went there, we saw the patient, the patient was almost breathless, she was uh, sitting on the bed and she was uh, gasping for breath and uh, echo by the bedside revealed that the valve which was replaced earlier during her previous surgery at uh, Rapidot Hospital was seen to be almost about to choke, there was no flow across the valve. So a decision had to be taken regarding what to do about the patient. Also the echo showed that the uh, uh, right heart pressures were very high and the left sided other valve which is the aortic valve was also leaking. So this uh, all this picture meant that the surgery was going to be very challenging and she would require both a replacement of the aortic and the mitral valve. So we had a discussion uh, with the entire team, we had a discussion with uh, the management and with their support we uh, 
thought of operating her uh, it was challenging for her uh, for us because this was going to be our first case uh, at our setup and doing a redo uh, as a first case is never uh, heard of anywhere but still we couldn't have sent the patient anywhere because she was really in a bad state and we decided to take her up so once she was in the ot uh, the procedure in general is to put the patient any heart surgical procedure is to put the patient on the cardiopulmonary bypass machine uh, in simpler terms this is a machine which takes over the function of the heart and the lungs during the time when we do the procedure on the heart because heart has to be still when we do the procedure so uh, we put her on cardiopulmonary bypass machine and then we stopped the heart and uh, the replacement of the previous valve and another valve it took a long time because the previous valve had to be removed there were all blood clots over the valve the valve was absolutely not moving at all and th this was the primary reason for her complaints so surgery took uh, uh, around 5 hours and after all, uh, after the surgery, when we decided to decrease the machine support and bring the heart back on, the heart would not take the load. And we had to keep her on the cardiopulmonary bypass machine for around three to four hours till the heart started taking load of the body and started pumping on its own uh, with a lot of uh, inotropic support, which was given. So in this state, uh, we shifted her to the uh, ICU and thereafter she uh, was expected to be in the ICU for a prolonged period of time and uh, we uh, removed the ventilator around fifth day and uh, thereafter she had another 8 to 10 days in the ICU. She was slowly but surely progressing in the ICU. Uh, because of this prolonged ventilation which happened in the ICU and which was expected, uh, what happened was she had some uh, vocal cord palsy and uh, because of that she is having trouble swallowing liquids. Apart from that, uh, she doesn't have any problems. So by God's grace, uh, everything went well. Uh, doing uh, uh, such a redo, double valve replacement uh, as a first case is really challenging. But uh, I think with everything, with team effort, with God's grace, uh, we pulled it off and the patient is doing fine and about to be discharged in some days. Dr. Abhijit Zoshi, our Chief Interventional Cardiologist, Myself, Dr. Shrigan Vandere, our cardiac anesthetist, Dr. Suhas Sonone, uh, Dr. Bhushan Nagarkar and his team of the entire team of the ICU, uh, entire nursing staff of the ICU and the OT and the physiotherapy department who were uh, really helpful in giving the physiotherapy. And of course, not, uh, the management who supported us all along, Dr. Viju Rajan and the entire administrative team. Thank you. Hi, uh, myself Dr. Suha Sorone. I am a consultant cardiac anesthesiologist at Manipal Hospitals, Bane, Pune. Uh, I am going to share you a recent case we did in our hospital. Uh, she was a 31 year female, uh, which was presented in emergency department with breathlessness and her heart rate was low at that time. So our consultant, uh, cardiologist Dr. Abhijit Joshi evaluated her and uh, they did uh, emergency uh, pacemaker change, uh, pacemaker replacement in that patient. Uh, but even after that, uh, next day she was found to be again breathless and uh, uh, was not doing properly. So they, they did the evaluation and 2D echo was done. So uh, after that, uh, they have suggested that this patient should be taken for an emergency cardiac surgery. So our uh, consultant, uh, sir, uh, consultant cardiac surgeon Dr. Shirang Ranade and myself, we have uh, we have taken this patient for emergency uh, redo uh, double wall replacement. Uh, so uh, double wall replacement is itself a, a risky procedure and uh, in again means like a redo surgery it's again risky more risky than this routine DVR. So we did that case. It lasted for about eight to ten hours. 
during this surgery uh, the uh, one machine is used that is cardio pulmonary bypass also called as a heart lung machine we this machine was used uh, usually uh, uh, we take an or uh, we put the patient on that machine and that machine artificially circulates blood to the whole body but for this patient as she was having a wall involvement and it was a chronic illness so uh, it, it took more time for her to uh, get out of that machine almost we have tried for 3 to 4 times on and off on and off but finally she made it and she came off bypass nicely uh, the inotropic that is drug requ requirements are more uh, in this scenario so icu stay was also prolonged because of this uh, uh, challenging case it lasted for uh, around 2 uh, weeks in icu stay for 5 days she was on ventilator on 6th day the ventilator was removed steadily and uh, slowly she progressed and uh, finally she was about to going get discharged from the hospital thank you mera naam basvaraj rathode aur ye meri patni jyoti rathode 2015 mein operation hua tha heart surgery ka to uske baad mera patni ka और जो सही ये होना चाहिए था वैसा नहीं हो रहा था पहले सांस लेने के लिए तो हम लोग ने पूना में आए तो पूना में मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल में दिखाए जो मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल में अभिजीत जोशी सर ने चेक किए तो चेक करने के बाद सर ने बोले कि पहले के जो ऑपरेशन हुआ थोड़ा गड़बड़ है तो वो ऑपरेशन बहुत बड़ा ऑपरेशन करना पड़ेगा हार्ट का तो उसके बाद सर भी चेक किए रानाडे सर भी चेक किए तो सर लोग ने मिल के एडमिट किए तो मुझे बोले कि बहुत बड़ा ऑपरेशन होने वाला है तो सर मैं बोला सर मेरी तो पहले ऑपरेशन करवाया मैंने अभी मेरे पास कुछ भी नहीं है करके मैंने सर को बोले हाथ जोड़ के तो सर ने बहुत हेल्प किए तो हेल्प करने के बाद एडमिट कर लिए तो करने के बाद सर ऑपरेशन सक्सेस हो गए तो पाँच छः दिन के तो मेरी मिसेस ऐसे लग रहा था कि बेवशुद्ध थे तो सर ने बहुत बहुत देखभाल की है ऐसा तो मैं पहली बार देखा है मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल में क्योंकि बहुत जगह पे मैंने दिखाया तो इतना केयर नहीं ऐसा नहीं संभाले तो यहाँ पर मुझे बहुत बहुत मेरी पत्नी को बहुत देखा है जो मेरा पत्नी अभी पहले बहुत सांस लेने में बहुत तकलीफ थी अभी कुछ भी नहीं है अभी ऐसा लग रहा है कि अभी पहले से भी अच्छी है अभी तो द सर ने बहुत बार बार चेक किए तो अभी तो सर ने बोले कि अभी पहले से बहुत सुधार है तो मुझे भी ऐसे लग रहा है कि पहले से बहुत सुधार क्योंकि पहले बहुत सांस लेने के लिए तकलीफ होती थी तो अभी तो है ही नहीं हॉस्पिटल में बहुत अच्छे तरीके से देखभाल हुई है तो बहुत खुशी है मुझे क्योंकि पहले से अभी बहुत अच्छी लग रही है मेरी पत्नी तो कुछ दिनों के बाद सर ने डिस्चार्ज दे देंगे तो क्योंकि अभी एकदम कंफर्टेबल लेवल है तो अच्छा है अगर अच्छा लग रहा है मुझे भी क्योंकि पहले बहुत सांस लेने में बहुत तकलीफ थी अभी अच्छा है लेकिन मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल में बहुत अच्छे तरीके से देखभाल किए इसलिए सभी डॉक्टरों को धन्यवाद देता हूँ और नमस्कार